Hi. Now, here's a question essentially on finding roots of an equation using complex numbers. So, uh, if you'd like to read it through and uh, haven't done it already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back and check your work solution with mine. Okay, let's see how you got on if you did have a go at this. Don't forget you can always check out tutorials on my website examsolutions.net. There's plenty of tutorials on this type of work. Okay, so uh, what we've got then is f of x equals 4x squared plus 9 multiplied by x squared minus 6x plus 34. And what we've got to do in part A is find the four roots of f of x equals 0 and give our answers in the form x equals p plus iq where p and q are real. So in order to do this let's just put down that equation. We've got part A anyway. That is that the equation is 4x squared plus 9 multiplied by x squared minus 6x plus 34 equals 0. And if that's the case, then we know that either this factor must equal 0 or this factor here must equal 0. So let's just say then we've got when 4x squared plus 9 equals 0. When that's the case, if we rearrange this, subtract 9 from both sides, divide by 4, you're going to end up with x squared equaling minus 9 quarters. And therefore, if we take the square root of both sides, the square root of 9 quarters is going to be plus or minus 3 over 2. And then this is multiplied by the square root of minus 1. And we call that i. OK, so that's one pair of solutions. And for the next pair of solutions, what we do is we look at when this quadratic factor equals 0. So in other words, when x squared minus 6x plus 34 equals 0. Now this quadratic equation, it will not factorize. So what we need to do is turn to the formula. The quadratic formula gives us x equals 6 plus or minus the square root then of minus 6 all squared minus 4 times 1 times 34 all divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Okay, so working this out what we've got is 6 plus or minus and here if we work that out it comes to minus 100. So square root of minus 100 and it's all divided by 2. Square root of minus 100 is going to be 10 multiplied by the square root of minus 1 which is i and that's all divided by 2 and if we divide 2 into each of these two terms you end up with 3 plus or minus 5i and that's your other pair of solutions. Notice by the way that when you look at one of these roots the other is the complex conjugate of it. All right. Now, in the last part, part B, we're asked to show these four roots on a single argon diagram. So if we just set up our axes, first of all, let's just have our imaginary axis down here. And we'll take our real axis, say, across here. Just label that the real axis. and. First of all then, if we've got to show 3 over 2i, then that's purely an imaginary number. So therefore, let's say that it goes up to there. I'm going to illustrate it by way of a vector. So that's 3 over 2i. Minus 3 over 2i, the complex conjugate of that, produces a reflection in the real axis. So that's what that's going to look like, minus 3 over 2i. Now for this pair of roots, 3 plus 5i, go across 3, up 5 units, not drawn scale, but 
be something like that, I would imagine. So we'll put that in as 3 plus 5i. And then we've got the complex conjugate of this, gives us the other root, again, a reflection in the real axis. So you're going to get that as 3 minus 5i. That should generally do. If you want to put some uh, markers on your axes, you could say that this goes three units across and five units up there, or even five units down here, so that'd be minus five. And similarly with this one, that would be three over two, and this one down here would be minus three over two. So hopefully you've got something looking like that then.